Hey guys, and welcome to Overland and Z. My name is Daniel, this is my 2022 Toyota Fortuner, and today we are talking brakes. More specifically, brake upgrades. So I am in the process of getting ready for a big trip. It's been a little while and the car, as you can see, is fairly unladen at the moment. There's very little inside it. There's no tents on the roof, nothing like that. And it's time to do a few things to get it ready for this summer. One of these things I've been wanting to do for a while is brakes and the team at DBA Brakes reached out earlier in the year and said, hey, we've got a whole bunch of new stuff coming to New Zealand. Are you keen on giving it a go? And I was like, well, yeah, super keen. And they were awesome. They're like, look, no catches, nothing like that. Basically, give it a whirl, let us know what you think. And they've given me a couple of sets of pads to try. And I've got a set of really, really nice rotors to go into the car too. So I'm hoping that it makes a bit of a difference to the pedal feel, especially when fully laden. You know, it's, it's fine, but fine is one of those things that you probably don't really want your brakes to be. You want them to be good regardless of how much load you've got on the car. So let's get into it. I'm gonna get it into the shed, which is just over there. We're gonna jack it up and I'm gonna, well, there's a whole bunch of alpaca food that I've just parked in, but we're gonna get these wheels off and get these new brakes on and have a bit of a look at them to see how they compare to the factory ones. Let's go. So in terms of what we're gonna be installing today, I've basically got a set of, what are these, straight performance front brake pads some extreme performance front brake pads. I'm probably gonna put these ones in, see how they go. I've got some straight performance rear pads. I've got two 4000 series brake rotors for the front. These things are huge, they're both the street series. And I've got two street series uh, rotors for the back as well. So the rear brakes on Fortuna are quite a lot smaller than the front ones. So obviously, you know, your front ones are the bulk of the work. And that is where the high quality good components are gonna go. And then the back, they're obviously still really high quality and still really good components, but they are just that bit smaller as they tend to be. So I think we'll start with this um, front wheel and we'll have a good look at all of the components as I pull them out of the box. And yeah, I'm just gonna caveat this whole thing. Obviously, if you're not confident working on brakes, probably don't. They're not hard, but obviously if you get them wrong, the consequences can be, well, fairly dire. So if you aren't confident, get someone who is to help you or take it to somebody who knows what they're doing. Just gonna get that in here, get that out of the way. Let's jump into it. The Fortune up in the sky and um, wheel off and go from there. So here we have the factory rotor with 30,000 Ks on it, 32,000 Ks. It's, it's looking okay. Um, you know, I, I do use this car and it does go off road and it goes on the beach and you know, so it's looking pretty good. Obviously got the factory brake pads. It'd be interesting to see how much meat is left on those. So we're gonna take brake pads out and then undo this bolt up here to get the uh, brake hoses loose. Undo the big bolts holding it in, basically everything pops off. And technically we should just be able to put the new ones on, new pads in um, and we're done hopefully. So yeah, let's start with this front wheel. All right, so we're 30,000 Ks in, and like looking at these, there's still quite a lot of meat left on them. I'm actually quite impressed. Uh, so before I go do the bolts for this caliper, I need to get the bolts off for the brake line and find something to hang the caliper up with. So time to crack these big caliper bolts loose. Big brake bar, best friend. No. There's two ways of getting these off. Sometimes you can hit them like I just did. I uh, completely got to press record on camera. Uh, or you can put bolts in here and basically unpress it. So, these being relatively not ancient, um, they did just come off pretty easy. So this here is a factory rotor. Cool, easy. Let's um, unbox some new ones and have a look and see how they compare. So it's worth for your install. It's gonna be a quick spread out with the brake clean. Just make sure there's nothing on them. I don't really wanna contaminate your um, new brake pads. 
Brake pads. So, in this box ah, ooh, a bunch of stickers and instructions. Oh, these ones come with the stuff I was talking about. Nice. So, these are the Extreme Performance brake pads. They're designed for heavy towing, track days, maybe not for this. Um, Off-roading, all that sorts of stuff where you put heavy loaded vehicles through their paces. So, I think these are going to be what I'm going to use for now. If they end up being too loud, I do have a set of street ones as well, but Realistically, these should work really, really well. They come pre-fitted with all these anti-squeal pads and everything like that. So I'm gonna undo these and um, try and squeeze them into the caliper. Just be really, really careful squashing uh, those pistons in and I probably should make sure that the brake reservoir doesn't overflow. Let's start the process of getting these in. These look cool. I, I know it's just paint and I know they're brakes and you can't see them, but they're orange. Like, how cool is that? And start by... I'm going to stack it over here and down them, cut the bolts. So, as you can see, both brake pads are now in. And just because I like to put a little bit on these pins just to help them slide freely. Again, not a heap, just, just enough to settle in with them about. Good stuff, put them on first. Let's let that guy in. So just like we've got a new front rotor, we've got new front brake pads, and they're all bolted into the factory calipers, as you'd expect. Um, you know, obviously try and not get any oil or anything on these, as oil on your brakes is not really a good thing. So, uh, uh, those are done. There's honestly nothing more to do, apart from bolt the wheel back on and um, start jumping around and doing some of the other wheels. This not been a highlight, so the handbrakes work. Turns out when you take it off, it still doesn't quite come out, but. There we go. Take your handbrake off. Of course, it sits inside the um, rotor there. Easy. Um, he says, there are a lot of holes in here. Just like that. Pads in. These are not the correct tool for the job. If you're going to use these, be extra careful to not pinch the boots, or you'll be up for caliper rebuild. Alrighty, so that is that job done and dusted. So the goal for now, in a couple of weeks, I'm just gonna drive around, see how it goes, and um, basically report back into this video, becoming just off of this bit. Future Daniel here. So, fast forward about a month or two. I've done oh, just over 5,000 Ks on these new DBA brakes now, and they are mint. Um, I wanted to really test them out before finishing up this video. So I wanted to basically go on a trip fully laden, which this currently is, it weighs a lot, and um, see how they perform. And I can tell you the vehicle that's operating very near GVM at the moment, they work awesome. So I've never run aftermarket brakes in the past, I've always just used the factory ones. I can't really describe the difference, it is just amazing, like you put your foot down and they bite. You know, they've got high performance pads in the front, so they do make a little bit of noise when they're cold, but I was told that was going to happen. I haven't found it a problem, even in the depths of winter when I was commuting back and forward, it's about 10, 20 k's a day, and um, they were fine for that. They make a little bit of noise for the first few minutes and then they're warm enough. So yeah, I am absolutely amped. Um, I know that's been a couple of questions, so why upgrade your brakes? 
Obviously, you know, the ones that come with the car are decent, but this car weighs a lot more than it did out of the factory. And I've got heavier rubber on it as well. So you have much more chunky tires. The alloys are much stronger. And if I'd gone to Steelys, you got an even more unsprung weight and rotational mass. So all of those things combined, aftermarket brakes can sort of make up the difference, I guess, between what it was factory and where you end up with all the mods that you do to it so that you kind of keep a factory pedal feel. DBA, rotors, pads, drum shoes, all the bits and pieces you could ever need are available from your local retailer. Hit them up, they should have parts for all the different vehicles out there, especially you know, the very common ones like this. And um, I, I really like them. I know that these were given to me, so I realize that my opinion is hard to be unbiased, but this is an upgrade that I would do again and I am going to do to my discovery, assuming I can find the parts for it. Like, I'm happy to go out and buy them. I think they are that good. So yeah, worth it. Absolutely worth it. And I just wanted to wait to do the wrap up of this video till I was kind of at a stage where I had really, really tested them out. Anyway, I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of this beautiful day on this beautiful beach. Catch you later. Bye.